Following today's announcement, her family is speaking out. News 2's Deanne Roberts has been following this story from the very beginning, tells us how Renaya's mother and grandfather are reacting. Renaya Wright's mother says the information we all received today is just the beginning as she continues fighting for justice in her daughter's death. I miss my daughter. I am not able to hold my daughter again, kiss her. The emotions of a grieving mother. I'm angry one moment. I'm sad one moment. Ten-year-old Renaya Wright died after what officials said was a school fight. Friday, officials said Renaya's death was not caused by the fight, rather a pre-existing brain condition. However, her mother, Ashley Wright, says she never knew her child was sick. My child was very healthy. Any medical issues, I have known about none of them until this situation occurred. Officials say Renaya's death had nothing to do with bullying, but Ashley says her daughter complained about being bullied daily. My daughter came home every day about that same girl. Although law enforcement officials say students they spoke to said there was only a 10 to 15 second slap fight and no signs of bullying on March 25th, Ashley's attorney says otherwise. Student two then told Renaya, your mama is broke. You got a big nose. You look like a boy and you like girls. Student two attacked Renaya from behind, put her in a headlock. Student two used her free hand to punch Renaya in the head over and over. Each punch to Renaya's head made a loud sound. So Ashley and her attorney say this is just the beginning of the unfinished story about what happened to Renaya Wright. Ashley Wright's attorney says they're going to continue investigating until they believe justice is served. We will continue following this story and bring you any updates here on News 2. Reporting in Colleton County, Deanne Roberts, Count on 2.